Hey you all, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Infinite Lock. It's your boy Erica. Today we have another Dreamcatcher reaction. We have Han Dong Solo. Um, again, I've been kind of making my rounds through the solos um, of Dreamcatcher. It's getting it's super hot in here. I mean, I'm about to react to Han Dong, so that's probably <laughs> that's probably why, with all due respect, um, you know, I've been reacting, making my rounds to all of the Dreamcatcher solos. Um, Han Dong is, I mean, she would be my. I, I'm honestly, I'm I'm super close to double biasing her with Giu. Giu is one of my alt, ultimates in all of K-pop, so that should let you know how crucial it is with Han Dong. Um, it was always kind of like that leading up to the concert. Again, Dream Dreamcatcher was my first live concert, just period, but definitely K-pop this year. Um, and seeing them in person and seeing their vibe and everything, Han Dong just hit different. She hit different from then on. Like I, I, she was right there. But after that, I was just like, every time I see her now, it is, it is, it is a problem. You know what I mean? In the best way possible. It's a problem just because she just so stunning. Um, her voice, her vocal tone is just so like entrancingly deeper than people expect i think dami gets a lot of attention for her deeper vocal i mean just a deeper tone which makes sense but han dong's voice is is pretty commandingly deep as well um and she just has this like nonchalant but still locked in aura about her and she's absolutely stunning in person i was shook i was i was literally I was, I was shook. I almost dropped my phone at the concert over the balcony. Just when she spoke, I was just like, wow. Um, and then the talent level, just just all of them, all of Dreamcatcher, they're really all my biases. But Han Dong and Jiu, they just, I mean, more times than not, they just hit different at times. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to get into Han Dong solo here. Very excited to see. Um, what she's gonna give us they performed it at the concert their solos little snippets of them um but i can't all the way remember um and i haven't really looked at the clips that i have recorded from then since then so let's get into her solo before we get into reaction make sure you all like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on got a lot of stuff coming your way and uh yeah dream catcher honda Can she really play the she looks amazing with black hair. I'm sorry. Can she really play the piano? Or no? I wouldn't be surprised. Dreamcatcher is full of amazing talents. Why does she look so she hasn't even looked at the camera yet and I'm sweating. Oh, is this supposed to be a play on the whole Ice Princess thing? Don't look at, don't look at us, please. Bro. The visual. See? She has that motherly-ish tone. Smooth as hell. Han Dong's vocal is something that I took for granted early on as well. Mm. 
I wish we had lyrics. See, like right here, how her voice goes into that slightly deeper tone. It's so commanding to me for some reason. Background vocals. I love this kind of like every sometimes when she moves the dancers move right there it's like subtle choreo okay footwork This is beautiful. Okay, hands. Stop playing with Hondong's vocals. Man, look. Feel like she's singing in my spine. So that was Han Dong's uh, solo. I feel like she was singing in a different language at the end of the song. I could be wrong, but I just feel like she was. Um, but or she could have been singing in at the entire song. I don't know. Let me know. But um, that was probably arguably my favorite solo so far i think that my favorite prior to that was Gaiyun. um the the solos are distinctly different um well no i think yu yun might have captured that um the solos were distinctly different um for good reason because each member has their own distinct style um again i just i just if this if this makes this really pushes her almost into double bias it's just she has that her style is just i feel like it's just I, I just like it so much you know what i mean um it's her tone is so effortlessly calm um she really lives in that like not necessarily falsetto but that like higher whispery range um and then down into like a monotone kind of commanding cadence um and that i absolutely love that when done correctly like at the end of the song they drop the beat out i love that type of stuff um she just she looks stunning as always again i mean these videos don't even do her justice she, in person she looks amazing like i'm y'all yeah i'm i mean this in the most respectful way possible she is absolutely gorgeous in person um they are they all are um, but Handong, wow. Um, and again, I mean, just, I love the breathtaking um, visuals. They didn't do too much. Um, you know, they kept the outfits simple. I love the, you know, the pearl um, Chanel um, necklace was kind of the main attraction in her outfit. Everything was pretty much white, but it was very elegant. It kind of played on that like ice princess persona. I feel like I don't know why they call her that. I still need to probably go look that up. Um, but 
I I I really do like the smoothness of this and just how it just I just love how all their solos seem to fit them you know what I mean it, it's you can tell that they're making the music that means something to them individually and I really love that um so yeah I mean 10 out of 10 so before y'all go make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on got a lot of stuff coming your way and uh yeah till next time